Hello CT department. I come to you guys with another amazing Canvas tutorial that will help you to create interactive content for your assignments. What I have here is a resource page for my 2D Studio Art class. Um, while they're working from home, they're going to be learning about different movements of art history. So here they're learning about abstract expressionism. So in this resource page, what I did is I embedded a lot of different content for them to view. I didn't want them to have to download anything. I wanted them to just be able to click on the content, view it, or read through it. So in this case, the first thing I added was a Prezi presentation, which is going to take them through a series of slides to learn about abstract expressionist artists. Okay. If I scroll down, you'll see that I embedded a video on a particular abstract expressionist artist named Mark Rothko. And if you don't know his work, please research him. So what I want to show you guys is essentially how you guys can embed this content into your assignments as well. So what I did is I found a tutorial on YouTube on surrealism. So it talks to students about the foundations of surrealism as well as some major surrealist artists. Please excuse my very slow internet right now. But we all love Comcast, don't we? I also found a Prezi presentation that talks to students about surrealism as well. So it's beginnings, um, some of its major artists, etc. So I want to embed both of these multimedia, the video, and the Prezi into an assignment on Canvas. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go into my modules for my uh, practice course. So this module is called Practice Makes Perfect. I'm going to click on the plus sign next to the module name to add a new assignment. So from the drop down menu, I select assignment, new, I'm going to give this a name. This one's going to be called Surrealism Demo. I know that when I add the name, this is basically an empty shell. There are no assignment descriptions here. So I'm going to click on the name of it. And I'm going to go and find this button with the pencil sign for edit. And if you're familiar with Canvas assignments, you know that this is how you add um, the actual assignment information. So if the directions were to read, watch the video and write a reflection or something along those lines, this is where I would write it. Now onto how I would actually watch the video. What I want to do is find this button right here for the insert and edit media. Kind of looks like a little flag. I'm going to go and click on the tab that says embed and it's going to ask me to paste my embed code. Now you might be wondering what exactly is this? It's basically a line of code that leads you to that video. So in YouTube, when I click on the video and the information right below the video, there's a link to share it. So I'm going to click on share. And I have several different ways for how I can share this video through um, different forms of social media. What I'm interested in is the first option called embed. Now, if this video had sponsored content that I didn't want my students to view, I could select start at, and let's say I wanted to start at three minutes instead of two minutes and what have you, right? So that my students wouldn't have to view that sponsored content. But I already previewed this video and I think it's safe for them to watch completely, so I'm going to deselect that. All I want to do is copy that entire line of code. Back in Canvas, I'm going to press Control V on my keyboard, V like victory, to paste that line of code and click OK. And you guys are going to see that the video is going to show up. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing for the presentation. So here's the presentation on Prezi. I'm going to look for the button to embed it, which is like this. It kind of looks like two arrows facing in opposite directions. 
And likewise, I'm going to copy this entire line of code. Back to Canvas. I'm going to look for the button to insert and edit media. Looks like a little flag. Click on the Embed tab and paste the line of code in. So now students will be able to see the video followed by the presentation. I'm going to just scroll down to save this so far before I continue my directions. And you guys can see that when I click on play, by the end of the war, almost 30 the video plays perfectly, just like it would on the actual YouTube browser. Likewise, if I click on play here for the Prezi presentation, students will be able to go and flip through the slides of the presentation and learn all about surrealism. So what's beneficial about embedding content like this is that students do not have to download anything. They don't have to download the video. They don't have to download the presentation and choke up uh, the memory space in their computer. All they have to do is click to play it and they're good. So I hope that helps you guys in creating interactive content. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Bye.